the schools that are here are the best schools in, in the, the country. I think the, it's starting to fall off a little bit. I, Saint, I, I watched the Rangers. I ain't gonna yeah. St. Pat's is not how it used to be. Like, St. Pat's is not how it used to be. Rosa Catholic's not how it used to be. Um, Benedict's not really crazy like that. They're not, they're not really. Because, you know what it is, though? I think the, the caliber of basketball has gone down. And I think yeah. now, other, other, so always New York has came and played in Jersey. Yeah. All the best New York players were playing from our, from our time. Yeah. Playing in New Jersey. Jelly fam, they was playing in New Jersey. Jersey. Like if you think about, even a lot of Philly niggas were playing in, were going to like Trenton Catholic, yeah, yeah, shit like that. Like a lot of people were coming to our town, but I guess a lot of those coaches like just moved around and yeah. shit like that. They start getting bread. What I, what I think it is though, I feel like a lot more people are opening up like bigger high schools that are not like high schools. They're like universities, like prep, like prep schools. I feel like prep schools is the wave now. Like shit, like like the overtime elite shit. Yeah. Nigga, if I'm a if I'm a top rated recruit, they offer me, I'm going. Yeah. That and shit looks. And they give you money. That shit looks just, fun as fuck. All day. That shit looks fun as fuck. You know they have a you know they have a documentary. Yeah, it was from last season. They have a whole documentary, but that shit's interesting as hell. I'm not gonna lie. I watched like four or five episodes already. That's just bad interesting. Man, man, man. Like it's and crazy. Like, they've made so much money not even get in the NBA. Exactly. That's why I will say the big difference is. And that could be why the talent ain't talented. Yeah. Because these niggas already got money. 